What's up, Epic Gamers? Welcome back to The Domain. You know what time it is, it's a news update video, and oh my goodness, I've been sitting on this information for way too long, okay? When I went to the Mega Studio uh, back in July now, I, the second I walked in, there was an entire row of all the new products for next year, and my eyes went straight to this beautiful, Beautiful release, 343 Guilty Spark. I mean, this thing, believe me, the pictures do not even do this thing justice. So we're here today to break it down, to go over not only what this set is, but the implications of this set for future Halo releases. This is actually a really, really good thing. Let me tell you why. But first of all, here's our little 343 Guilty Spark. He has been like just one of the most iconic characters in Halo and arguably just gets more and more iconic as the timeline goes on, as the lore continues. If you don't know, 343 Guilty Spark has been playing a huge role in some of the more recent books. He's been appearing in the Forerunner saga of novels, Halo Renegades, Point of Light, oh my goodness, that's some really great books. Like, I still have not read them all because, oh my goodness, if I can find just a minute of a day to relax and rest, I would love that. I, I just got word, I just got an email about something absolutely crazy that's happening in two weeks time. I can't tell you guys what yet, but it is unreal. Like something crazy is happening in there, uh, for this channel in particular. It's really exciting stuff. So we've got uh, Guilty Spark, like just gets more and more iconic by the day. And a little bit of information went up on one of the um, Halo websites, the well, the megaconstructs.com website, which is in a bit of disarray right now. I really wish it would be, uh, you know, a little bit more up to scratch, but we got 343 Guilty Spark. Now, let me talk you through this, okay? The 343 Guilty Spark comes alive with lights and sound. The monitor is fully buildable and features two light modes to represent its dual personalities, plus 15 memorable quotes from voice actor Tim Dabado. Yeah, um, amazing. The actual voice actor for 343 Guilty Spark from like the original Combat Evolved in Halo 3 games is back. Uh, it's just unbelievable. Like, it's so exciting. Well, and Halo 2 as well. Press on its eye to activate the lights and sounds. Double press for rampant mode. Oh my goodness. Ideal for display. Activate this collector building set to survey and protect your showcase. Now, uh, a lot of people have been a little bit confused as to what the Mega Showcase is, and understandably, because Mega announced this whole new branding, the Mega Showcase, recently, but nothing else really alongside it. The Mega Showcase, uh, a lot of the information is going to become more apparent over time, but basically, it's a new way to bring together all of the Mega collecting catalog, like all of the bespoke line of collectibles. It's quite similar to Mega uh, Constructs as a brand name because everything's going into Mega, but Mega Showcase is all of the really deluxe items and you can see it from the shared really deluxe packaging, which we'll get to in a second. So two LED light modes and 15 official quotes from the original Halo game trilogy. Just amazing, man. Like. Mega is embracing the new Bespoke Collector's line. Also, um, you guys haven't seen this yet. A little bit of a preview for you. Oh boy, <laughs> if the domain wasn't part of my life <laughs> up until now, it certainly is now. Uh, so yeah, we got the Collector model, 343 Guilty Spark, 609 bricks, and part of the Mega Showcase catalog. Okay, let's look at some images, shall we? Look at this beauty. So, um, yeah, I've been waiting to share information about this. I'm currently on holiday with my family, but I, obviously I had to make a video about this. And we've got all these beautiful images, which I've collated together. This was on megaunbox.com. Shout out to whoever found it. Uh, that's not much of a shout out, but uh, I was not the one to find this information. Um, and look at this. We've got the mega... 343 Guilty Spark. So you can scan this little QR code. I imagine it'll take you to um, the Mega Showcase part of uh, the Mattel.com website. And you can obviously have a look at the uh, different features, probably through a promo. It could also go to an Instagram post, but I imagine it's probably Mattel.com. We can see 343 Guilty Spark, I guess in station, stationary mode, on, and then rampant mode. And 
I just, th this thing is unbelievable. Also 609 pieces, uh, the inside, like the light box and the sound box is quite large. So you're sort of building around that, but they've done it so well. Like I've held this in person, it is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, at, at first they only had the packaging available for me the first day I was at the studio and then they brought the actual thing to show me. Uh, they did a presentation on the spring catalog and a presentation on the fall catalog. And I can't show you them, but the fall line of Halo Mega next year Oh man, is it so cool. So this is the Guilty Spark. I don't know when this is coming out, but uh, you can see the rampant mode. So yeah, you double click the light. The The actual light uh, is, is, is huge, this button. And yeah, you click it to turn it on. You double click it for the rampant mode and it'll say all your favorite voice lines. All of them, like so many of them, it's crazy. So here's the, uh, yeah, the, I, I, the, the promotional videos I'm gonna make with this thing, like I'm gonna take this to like every convention, like every event that I go to, 343 Guilty Spark will be with me and so will Tim Dabado. Um, yeah, there's it with the voice lines and you can see a little more of what I'm talking about. Like this is, um, it's sort of like a large bricked structure, um, but it, it, it's, it's, it's one large module that you build around but still, there is a lot of pieces. I mean, 609 pieces is still no joke. We got a nice little 343 Guilty Spark nameplate. This is very similar to the Forerunner ring uh, in terms of display piece, which I'll get into as well in a second. And uh, yeah, you've got some more beautiful collector's uh, images. Now, here's why this is really good news because um, I would assume, I don't know 100%, but I would assume this is a target release because all of the other bespoke collector's items have gone to Target. The first one we ever had was the Battle of the Ark Master Chief. It then got rebranded into a Halo Infinite buildable Master Chief. Came with a little Cortana. Love that set. And uh, the most prized piece of any mega collection, the base plate. Like everybody just foams at the mouth for this base plate. Um, if Mega could just release a 20 pack of the base plate on Mattel Creations, I swear we'd be we'd be golden. Uh, then they came out with the Forerunner Ring installation. I'm still yet to complete my Forerunner Ring installation. I just got it up to four. I just need one more. And I've just been waiting to get them really cheap. Um, and then I'm gonna do some really fun video. Uh, but yeah, the Forerunner Ring, uh, very similar base plate with the sort of blue translucent bricks at the bottom and then smoothed off top. Uh, yeah, actually very, very similar. Um, actually, uh, even more similar probably to the buildable Forward Unto Dawn. We'll get to that one. Then we had the buildable Master Chief helmet with this really nice like metallic strip that you attached in as the chrome visor. Buildable energy sword. Oh, look at that handsome chappy. We're actually, are we missing one? We had the build, why is that there twice? Oh, did I, oh my goodness, I pasted over Demarcation Media, how rude of me. I wanted to include one thumbnail for Demarcation Media because shout out to him, he's just doing uh, the most amazing job and seeing the most deserved, well-deserved growth um, for all of his hard work on his videos. He is the number one place to see uh, reviews of all the products on time, if not earlier than even the products are like, the, the promotional material is out in the wild. He's really on it. Uh, we've got the buildable needler and then we got the uh, buildable Ford Unto Dawn. I actually re revealed this for the first time. Um, probably, gosh, was it about a, hmm, about it maybe four to 16 months ago, maybe. Um, I revealed that for the first time um, and that was really exciting. It did build up a lot of hype for that. It does come with a similar base plate to this, uh, this 343 Guilty Spark and that Miranda Keys and then that handsome chappy there, the buildable Xbox 360. This is a thumbnail from one of my most recent videos. If you've not seen it, go check it out. It's, uh, we basically build the, um, what, what am I saying? I show you guys where you can find this buildable Xbox at Target because it's not in the toy aisle. That's why some people haven't been able to find it. It's in the electronics aisle with the video games. So you can find the buildable Xbox 360 at Target right now with international release next year. And it's basically the greatest collectible that any brick company has ever made. Fight me, fight me one-on-one. -on -one. I'll, uh, I'll defend that till the end of time itself. Uh, yeah, this, 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 Guilty Spark is incredible. Like what else could you want from a collectible? And now let's play a little game. Let's assume that this is a Target release. Maybe it's even a Target exclusive. I'll get more details on it soon. But this, uh, first of all, this is like the bespoke packaging I'm talking about. Like Mega is having this really nice, clean um, grays, blues, and purples as like across their different lines. You can see it with like the buildable 
motion Charizard and Pikachu and all the other Pokemon. You can see it with the buildable Hot Wheels that come with diecast collectible cars. You can see it in a lot of their products. And it's a way to bring the whole showcase together. And when you look on a store shelf, it's like one sleek continued design philosophy. And th th I really like it. Once you see them all together, I'm sold. Um, so we've got that beautiful packaging, but let's assume this is a Target release. It's no secret to anyone that Target has not been stocking Halo Mega. You cannot have a successful merchandise without a successful video game, and we've just been twiddling our thumbs waiting for Halo to get good. And Halo has got good. My subscriber count this month is about double what it usually is because people are coming back to Halo big time. And what better opportunity to get Halo back at Target because this is now one, I mean, it was the fastest uh, to ever sell out on a pre-order for Mega, and it's in every target. I have never seen, like, Google Xbox 360 Mega. There are, like, so many news articles from all these big companies talking about the Mega Xbox. It's probably the best publicity Mega's ever got on a product. And this has brought Mega to the attention of casual gamers, casual collectors, casual Halo fans, and now, what perfect next thing then a light up, buildable, guilty spark. And then the floodgates are open and Target gets Halo Mega back and we win. Even if this is not a Target exclusive, which I feel like it is, it might be um, Amazon. Even if it isn't, just the continued like resurgence of interest with Halo Mega makes me very confident for the road going forward. We have TV show sets in the spring which will drum up a new audience to Halo Mega and then we have a fall lineup which is just beautiful. So I'm very confident. Uh, now all we need to do is get the Falcon Sweep back, get the Drop Pods back and um, get Blind Bags better distributed. If, if we need to make a petition, if I need to have a, you know, a Zoom call with Target to say, hey, you need blind bags back, I'll, I'm your man. I'm the brand ambassador. I'll get the job done. Believe you me, like, I, I just got, get, got off an hour phone call with Mega this morning. Like, I will herald this. Is, is that the right word? I will shepherd this brand forward to as high of a height as it can possibly get to. Um, and I'm really excited about the future for that. I mean, shout out to the Halo Blackpool Europa Championship. I was the main cameraman um, all weekend, last weekend, um, and have some really insane promotional material coming out. I, they won't perform as well as usual videos, but they should because they're amazing. Um, and yeah, they, they're not mega, so they won't perform as well on my channel. But if you see that I've like, go, go, go and look at my channel right now. There's some really crazy videos going out and I've got a really big one on Sunday and the, the sky's the limit. The, the future is good. Honestly, uh, I've got some really exciting plans still to share, uh, some really exciting, uh, updates on my channel and my life. But in general, just shout out to you all. Thank you so much for the, um, influx of support on the channel recently. Um, and I'll see you next time. Let me know down below. Uh, are you excited about this 343 Guilty Spark? And what um, of the buildable collector sets before have you been the most hyped about? Because there's been some really good ones. I know the Energy Sword is a big fan favorite. Uh, the Forward and Ring is also great. Um, I think this might, I mean, this is probably the best, right? Like Mega are clearly moving into the bespoke collectibles side of things. They're moving into lights and sounds, which is amazing. Like this is clearly uh, marketed for adult collectors, which is clearly the general direction that most toys are going. And I'm all about it because Halo, like, well, collectors, like collect bespoke collectors products just go hand in hand with Halo, as you can clearly see with all of this goodness. So shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay safe. Domizzle and the Hizzle signing off. See you next time, folks. The installation is ready to fire. Starting final countdown. And may I say, Reclaimers, it has been a pleasure to serve you both.